coming to you from a different part of my apartment. Um, I'm in the kitchen. Um, my roommate is not here. I'm not sure where she is, um, but she's gone and the dog's gone. So I think she's gone for the day, possibly more. Um, so I've kind of gone out a little bit more in the apartment. I'll explain a little bit about the apartment stuff um, in a minute. But um, yeah, so I'm out in the kitchen. Behind me is, that's my bedroom. Um, so um, yeah, I've been busy um, packing up my apartment. I'm moving back home with my parents, um, at least for the summer. And right now, my I'm planning on living with them in the fall too, um, because my younger sister, who's living at home right now, um, is probably going to be moving out, which will um, leave the whole upstairs empty, which would give me a lot of space and basically like a whole apartment at home um, without having to pay any real rent. So I'm hoping to do that and that that'll be okay and I'll be able to deal with that and um, save up some money and um, and hopefully that'll work out. Um, so yeah, so I'm packing things up here. I'm officially out of here um, at the end of June, um, but I'm going away on Saturday for a week, so I'm trying to get um, as much moved before then as possible. Um, yeah, the apartment situation, um, I think I may have mentioned stuff about it before, but um, basically like it started out fine. Well, okay, it didn't start out fine necessarily, but um, she was a teacher in the same classroom as me last year at the preschool I met, um, and she decided to leave the preschool um, after last year. She had been there for three years, um, and we were, you know, we were friends. She's um, she's in her mid thirties, so she's older than me, but um, and we we're, f I, you know, we we're friends. <clears throat> the other teacher in our classroom, you know, the three of us were all friends and. The three of us and the other teacher's boyfriend, we were all going to get an apartment together. That didn't end up working out, so it's just me and my roommate. Um, and, you know, we found this apartment, just the two of us, so. It started out being okay. <coughs> you know, we would kind of, we would hang out occasionally. Um, but from the beginning, like, the way that the apartment was found, and I was kind of, um, in a way bullied into taking this apartment, which cost more than I was willing to spend. Um, and the lease started a month before we had agreed we were going to move, and really two months before I needed an apartment here. Um, so it was like, from the beginning, I kind of didn't really feel like it was fair. Um, and, like, apparently since the beginning there have been issues kind of building up with my roommate that like issues that she's had with me that she hasn't talked to me about um, and they're like stupid things um, and so it's just I mean it's just and it got to the point where <clears throat> in like February she just like stopped talking to me um, she has a dog um, and I'm not really a dog person but I like I have put up with the dog, but she kind of, in some ways, tried to get me to do things, taking care of the dog that really was kind of going beyond, um, and I really wasn't willing and able to to do. Um, so, you know, it's um, it's been kind of difficult for a while. Um, so, like you know, since February, we really haven't been speaking. We had this huge argument on the phone. Um, and like, it, it's just like it's it's stupid the way that things have turned out, and it really is too bad. And like, I kind of tried to do what I could to smooth things over after that argument, um, but she didn't want to discuss things anymore. Um, and I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep trying. It, it you know it's done. So it'll be a relief to be out of this apartment in some ways, but, you know, in some ways I like having my own place um, and the independence and all of that. So, you know, goods and bads. Um, but I've been 
really busy, you know, packing up. Um, and this past weekend was actually, I actually had a really rough time, um, health-wise. I, um, on Friday morning, um, before I went to work, I deaccessed my port and took a shower and went to work, and I, like, I was okay on Friday. Um, and instead of accessing, again, Friday night and hooking up my hydration and everything and, you know, um, I decided to, that I wanted to be able to take a shower Saturday morning before I had to go off to some, some activities. Um, so I basically skipped my hydration and my, um, doxy on, um, on Friday. Um, Saturday morning, I got up kind of early, it wasn't really early, um, had to do some cooking for various things I was going to over the weekend, um, went and took a shower immediately afterwards, went to access my port, and like, about halfway through accessing it, um, like, felt like I was gonna pass out, like, I was really, really feeling sick, um, and lightheaded and dizzy, and, um, managed to finish accessing, slap the dressing on, and, like, lay down on the floor. Had, still had the mask on, still had the gloves on, like, I just had to lay down on the floor, and, like, took the mask and gloves off and stuff. Um, it's happened to me before, when I access right after taking a shower, and I think it has to do with, um, overheating in the shower, and then wearing the mask and gloves and that, um, making me overheat more. Um, and I have dysautonomia, which is basically my autonomic nervous system doesn't work right, so I can't regulate my temperature very well. Um, so, I mean, I've had this trouble before, but usually it's when it's like summer and it's really hot out and, you know, there's other stuff. Um, so it was kind of surprising that it happened on a day when it really wasn't hot. Um, so it was, so I had to, I was supposed to leave soon after that to go to, um, a picnic for, um, the choir, I mean, church choir. Um, and instead I had to go to bed for like two hours. Um, and I did make it to the party late and like most people <laughs> had already left and whatever, but, um, and like I was, th spent the rest of the weekend like recovering, um, and it like sucked. Um, and I'm still recovering from that, but, um, you know, it was, it, it's hard when, like, you're doing well, relatively well overall, and then you have, like, kind of little things that set you off into these crashes, um, and it takes a lot to recover from them, um, so I'm still recovering. Um, but I'm trying to keep going and I'm, you know, working and, um, and last night I did, um, have a really nice night uh, out, um, visiting a friend from high school who has a little cute, cute little baby, um, who's like seven months old. Um, so I had a really fun time there. Um, and it was nice to get out and do that, but, um, I definitely am in need of catching up on some sleep. So I'm looking forward to going on vacation on Saturday for a week and then having a couple weeks off work after that. All right, hope you're all doing well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.